Well, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about why UNLV football plays their games at Allegiant Stadium, the Death Star, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Of course, Allegiant Stadium sits well over 60,000 people, far too many for a UNLV football game, so when they do play their home games there, it is virtually entirely empty. The upper deck doesn't have a single person in it. How did this come about? What is UNLV's history? Have they ever tried to build their own stadium? We're going to go through all of that and talk about why they currently play at an NFL stadium. Now, UNLV's prior stadium, Sam Boyd Stadium, you can take a look at it. It certainly is not the best. I will say it's got an amazing view. It's got a very nice view, but just looking at the stadium for a Mountain West team, it's extremely lacking. And it's funny, when you look at this stadium, you can kind of see like one or two sections that they added on, like in the corner. I mean, it is such a sloppy look. If UNLV wanted to do a renovation and an investment, it would likely cost minimum $20 million, maybe $30 million. And the idea would be to close off the end zone. The one end zone is wide open. Right behind that, it's just a vast desert. The entire stadium is surrounded by a parking lot. So UNLV obviously wanting a new stadium. The rumors kick up in 2011. UNLV announces plan for new stadium and district on campus. That came out February 1st, 12 years ago. And this is one of the more unique on-campus college stadiums I have seen. It's an all-in-one multi-purpose. It's college football. It's college basketball. It's soccer. There's some nice exterior and interior renderings of it. Now, for the college basketball, they would drop down massive curtains and block off the up sections of the upper deck. So let's take a look at UNLV's history in terms of college football. I mean, it is brutal. So they've been to one bowl game in the past 20 years. To give, we got to give them credit. They did go five and seven last year. They were so close, but then two and ten, zero oh and six during the pandemic year. Four and eight, four and eight, five and seven, four and eight, three and nine, two and eleven, seven and six. They made a bowl and lost the game. Two and eleven, two and ten, two and eleven, five and seven, five and seven. I mean, this team, it's brutal for UNLV football, and it's one of the reasons why, as we see all of this college football realignment and expansion. UNLV, despite the whole Las Vegas thing, they don't recruit well. They're not a draw in terms of possibly the Pac-12 adding them. I guess you could make the argument there were a few reports out there if the Pac-12 had remained at 10 teams after losing USC and UCLA that they would consider adding a UNLV, a Boise State. Obviously, they wanted to add San Diego State, but it all falls through and the conference completely implodes. But Obviously, the stadium doesn't end up happening. UNLV still plays at the old Sam Boyd Stadium until they're able in 2016 to agree to a deal right when Allegiant Stadium broke ground. UNLV spent nearly $2.2 million to stage its six football games at Allegiant Stadium this past year. And this was something that happened four years ago when the Nevada board took its first public look at the Raiders-UNLV joint use agreement. A per-game rental fee of a quarter of a million dollars termed as a rough estimate was mentioned as the cost for UNLV to use the Raiders stadium. When UNLV played its football games at Sam Boyd Stadium, they spent roughly 50000 to hold games there. UNLV pays the Raiders to use the stadium under an agreement that was hashed out before the venue opened. The 2016 state legislation that required Southern Nevada to contribute $750 million towards the stadium's construction included wording that allows UNLV to play its football games at the Raiders-controlled venue. And then here is the game-by-game -game breakdown for 2022 based on how much money each football game costs for UNLV to host. I do remember the Air Force game being on CBS Sports Network. 
So that game, I mean, any time they host a game at Allegiant Stadium, it is just so putrid. I really think they should just go back to Sam Boyd, even though that stadium is decrepit and horrible. Playing at Allegiant Stadium, yes, it's beautiful, it's great, but when 99%, or you know what, let we won't say 99%, more like 90% of it is completely empty. It just gives a horrible atmosphere on TV, and I'm sure, obviously, in person, it's even worse. But the whole idea is UNLV, they had a decrepit stadium, they were trying to you know, get the funds to possibly build an on-campus stadium, it falls through, and Sam Boyd Stadium right now is not even in operation. They're considering bulldozing it because it's so bad Right now, it's kind of in flux on what they want to do with it, but there is currently no events being held there, and UNLV is likely going to be playing at Allegiant Stadium for at least the foreseeable future. I'm not exactly sure what is the end game to playing at Allegiant Stadium. It's just not good. I mean, think about the recruiting aspect of it. You're playing at an. It's it's weird because. You would think bringing the recruits into Allegiant Stadium, this is where you could play in the NFL, that would be a good pitch. But then also it's like, I don't know. I mean, I guess UNLV isn't recruiting four stars very much anyways. It's mainly three stars and lower. It is the Mountain West, but still, it's got to be just hard to recruit in that stadium where, you know, there's no college vibe, there's no campus vibe, it is all NFL, it is all professional, and you bring the kids out there, and it's like you're at a scouting combine or something, because there's no one in the stands, it's an NFL feel, but then it's a college game going on. It's a very strange phenomenon, and if you watch it on TV, you'll understand just how weird it is. It's like they're playing an exhibition game, basically, because they're playing at an NFL stadium. You know, like the East-West Shrine game or whatever, where they play at NFL stadiums? That's what it kind of feels like, like exhibition off-season type event when they host their home games, if they are ever on TV. Imagine they got a national TV game, maybe against Air Force. Well, th- well, this year, they're probably going to be on the road at Air Force. Who could they face at home? Maybe Boise State? Maybe Boise State goes to Allegiant Stadium this year and faces UNLV. But yeah, that is the story. I mean, I'll say that uh, stadium proposal in 2011 was certainly interesting. Seating around 60,000, that is crazy. An indoor stadium, of course, it would be super rare. It's virtually unheard of for a college football team to have a dome stadium. I'm not sure, is that a retractable roof? I don't think it's a retractable roof. It's kind of hard to tell, but probably not a retractable roof. Right now, the only college football team in terms of FBS that has a dome is Syracuse. You do have like Idaho, New Mexico State. All of them have smaller domes, but Syracuse with the Carrier Dome, or what is it called now? The JMA Wireless Dome or something. I still call it the Carrier Dome, but that is the only true dome right now in Power 5, and this would have been an interesting one if they were somehow able to pull it off. It certainly, you would think, would have helped with their recruiting, but the stadium itself, in terms of capacity, just way too much for UNLV football. Interesting nonetheless, because they would have like big curtains that would come over and cover depending on the event. It was really an all-in-one multi-purpose and so much so where they could have actually played UNLV basketball games here as well, which would have inevitably been a complete disaster because the seating would have been all weird. A lot of the seats would have been way away from the basket and it would have created a very quiet atmosphere when it comes to that. But that is why UNLV football plays at Allegiant Stadium. Their old stadium was decrepit. They didn't want to spend money on renovations. And now they pay around $2 million per year to have their games at Allegiant Stadium. If they wanted to renovate their stadium... I mean, maybe it would cost 30 or 40 million, probably more, honestly. That is not a good looking stadium. It is not in good shape. So they said, screw it. We'll just play at Allegiant. Unfortunately, there are big drawbacks to that. The whole campus vibe is completely gone. It feels like an NFL stadium, but you're practicing because there's no fans in the stands because you're never going to fill up that many seats, and it just makes the whole thing very strange. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.